This is my model roller coaster built out of Connects. And these are Micro Connects cars. They have a terrible problem. The wheels on these cars suck. They only spin for like two seconds. Which means when I put them on my roller coaster, they hardly go anywhere. The speed loss is also due to the amount of friction these cars have, especially on tight turns. It makes it super frustrating to build with these because they are so limiting to what you can build. Now there's other alternatives, but they aren't good either. These boosters use rubber wheels to propel the car, but they're bulky and loud. Same goes for this fan car. It's also loud and goes through the track way too fast. I've been building roller coasters with these cars for years. I'm tired of having to build with these issues, and I'm not the only one. There's countless others who have had these same problems. So it's finally time to design and build some new cars. But before we do so, I'm gonna take out some revenge on these cars. Well, I had a lot of fun destroying those cars, and it kind of looks like a frog now. Alright, let's get back to designing some better cars. I started off by modeling the cars in Fusion 360, and I ordered some small bearings that'll be much faster than the plastic ones. I'll be printing all the parts on my Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. I think now is a good time for me to explain how the modeling process went, so sit back and listen to the next 30 minutes of me yapping. So this part over here is where the wheel assemblies will attach to. And then the base will attach to uh, zero car, zero cars, but that's it. Uh, and also the front will around, uh, so assembly uh, and then the whole thing uh, Then you have the uh, uh, gel part, which is designed to top, this will make it look nice and uh, cover up the end part, the end part, which will have the chain dog and other things like that. Um, we also have the ball together. And yeah, if you ever want to do it for yourself, uh, now you know how to. All right, with the cars 3D printed and assembled, it was time to give it a test run. That was perfect. But like every project, something happened. So essentially what was wrong is there was too much flex in the front assembly, thus making it derail on the forceful parts of the layout. You know what that means. After redesigning and making some adjustments, we can now build the updated train. I'm really loving how these trains came out. Let's compare them against the micro trains. Now my car. It did a lot better, but as you can see, it still didn't quite make it over the next hill. That is because the car is by itself and needs a fully loaded train equipped with weights on the inside to give it even more momentum. And because the tops come off, you can change the design. These cars also have chain dogs, which allow them to attach to the lift. 
Here's a clip of it making the full layout. These trains are so much better. Also, I'm gonna be selling these trains very, very soon. So if you're interested in buying them or just really like roller coasters, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you saw this cute little skunk earlier in the video and I'll see you in the next one.